All right, welcome to Walking and Talking with Phoenix. This is just a quickie, a bit of food for thought. So, I'm on my way now from my place to meet up with my friend Luke in town, and we're going to enjoy a night with some of his Burmese friends. And meanwhile, while I traverse from point A to point B, I've got this amount of time, time in which I can fill doing something. You know, if I had headphones in, maybe I could learn French, if I so please. Maybe I could have a strike a conversation with that guy as I just walk past. Or oh, maybe I could be doing this, what I'm doing right now, and just filming food for thought. The point is, whenever I'm doing anything, and in particular more so when I'm not doing anything, um, you know, I, 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 don't, I don't like that, I don't like not doing anything. You know, if I'm sitting on a bus or at a bus stop, back in the day when I was a smoker, I used to smoke while listening to music, and that would be my thing, you know? And for a while, while I was depressed and confused in my head, was in a weed-induced haze and cloud. I used to pass my time playing video games with friends, and I thought that that was worthwhile, and it was for a while, but only for so long. And I realized that there's only so much time we have in this life, even if it's just a snippet of time we have walking from our homes to our bus stops, you know, waiting in line at the shops, and whatever it is we're doing, just the traveling time and in general for everyone, there's, there's a couple of hours in each day that you, you lose. And most people I see on their phones, they probably are using their time wisely, connecting with their loved ones and their friends, and, you know, catching up. Maybe they're arranging appointments. And that's a great thing with these, you know, this technology. It allows us to use our time more efficiently and to do a wider range of things. That's a cool car. See, they've been spending their time doing the right things. You can see, good old Adventure Time painted van, awesome. So, the point is that if you do have a routine and each day you're going to work and generally you do just listen to music, then why not try something new? Why not, you know, like I said, maybe commit to learning a new language, chuck in some self-development audiobooks on your iPod and listen to that daily whenever you're waiting at your bus stop best to just use your time more wisely instead of doing nothing or instead of passing time purely murdering time and killing it pointlessly purposelessly why not fill it with something productive something that's going to help you grow expand your mind understand the world a bit better understand how to get by and exactly what you need to do to succeed in achieving your aims you know all these little snippets of time such as me walking the bus stop now adds up over, over time and can take up a lot more time than uh, people take for granted. So instead of killing it, instead of passing it, why not use it and spend your time worthy and wisely, you know, investing your time so that in the end you get some returns. If not you, then others will get some returns, which is why I shoot these things in between, you know, whenever I'm walking somewhere, I may as well be talking. It's no extra work on my part. Just gotta hold this thing up and do what I like to do anyway, you know? So this may not be what it is for you, but it might be something else that you can do. And really it's just figuring out, you know, how you wanna use your time to become the best version of you and to produce the most fruits for the world. So that's my food for thought right now. This has been Walking and Talking with Phoenix. It's a pleasure talking to you. Uh, now yeah, go use your time wisely. I suggest TED Talks. TED Talks is great. You know, interesting, funny talks from a wide range of experts on many different things. Just chuck in the search bar whatever interests you, whether it be about zombie cockroaches or sexual attraction or how to be more confident, how to be inspired. And you'll find something fitting and really good quality talks which you can learn from whilst, like I said, still being entertained which people seem to prioritize. So if you're gonna be entertained, at least find something that's gonna inform you and help you learn and grow. That's generally what I aim to do, but that's just me, you know, I always like to be moving up or progressing or learning and changing for the better. You don't have to be the same. You know, you can just get by and have fun and you don't need to necessarily be moving on up, moving on up and evolving all the time. But uh, each to their own, like I said. So yeah, thanks for watching and Fair tidings, may you get what you deserve. Thanks.